Kraus, board members, administrators, faculty and staff, parents, family, friends, and members of the class of 2019. Thank you. Thank you parents for sending your children to Love One High School. Thank you teachers, staff, and administrators for providing a place where students can, can grow and achieve personal and academic success. Thank you students for helping each other during difficult moments and pushing one another to the next level. And thank you, my family, for being supportive for every decision I have made throughout my 18 years and for making me who I am today. Four years ago, the class of 2019 marked its first step into the high school, just like Neil Armstrong was the first man to step on the moon. Everyone was nervous and excited at the same time. We entered into a realm of new social life, new school, new courses, and new responsibilities. That year was filled with craziness, not to mention that everyone trended hashtag Freshman Friday. Before we knew it, we hit sophomore year. We were still thrilled over the fact that we were in high school, but our focus slowly turned to what would happen three years later. The time had come when we needed to focus on national tests, plan our future, and obtain our driver's test. However, little did we expect that more challenging obstacles were to come crashing into us. Soon, we entered our junior year, deemed as a year when students should take difficult and challenging courses, or students athletes should maximize their potential for the recruitment process. That year was by far the most dramatic among our high school years. Many students took the SATs and ACTs, devoted their time to extracurricular activities, and made college and military visits, and enrolled in the highest courses possibly offered. The year was packed with busy schedules, and our stress level rose exponentially. As for me, and to my surprise, I discovered many white hairs as a, as a result of junior year. Just when we thought the toughest part was over, senior year welcomed us with greater challenges. We faced making a life-changing decision. Whether we would apply to college or trade school, would serve in the military, or would seek a full-time job. At the same time that we were making this important decision, we had to balance our role as leaders to the underclassmen, our new state of sleep deprivation, our emotional roller coasters, all while battling senioritis. Despite these challenges, my fellow classmates, we did it. We did it. Look at the person sitting to your left and your right, in front of and behind you. We did it, but let's not forget to take a moment to consider how we did it. We did it by overcoming challenges. We made it through long hours of completing homework assignments, studying for tests, waking up at 5 a.m. for practices, and finalizing our decision for the next phase of our life. And we did it together. Now, I would like to take a moment to share a personal story that consumed my sophomore and junior years. And do not worry, I shortened my two years of experience down into a paragraph, so you're welcome. At the age of five, I started competitive swimming. My dream was to become an Olympic swimmer, but only to learn that three years ago, I needed two major surgeries along with long, lengthy physical therapy sessions. I, re I realized that all the hard work I had, all the hard work I had that I've done so far could be lost overnight. It was, a period of, it was a period of physical and emotional difficulties. However, I was able to find a new path by attending UC on a full-time basis. There, as one of the few full-time College Credit Plus or CCP students, I realized how much high school, high school students were in need of support to help them feel at home. As a result, I had the opportunity to be the co-founder of the CCP Club to help other high school students like myself to succeed in college. From there, I soon started to stand on my own two feet, literally and figuratively, courageously breaking out of my comfort zone and embracing the challenges that came at my direction. This is my story. 
Much like mine, we all can tell stories of our challenges. I know each of you has one. Consider your story and your victories for a moment. As we graduate, we will undoubtedly face challenges, both small and large, throughout our lives. If there is one thing to remember from my speech today, remember this. I hope you will continue to persevere to overcome your challenges and seek and pursue different paths in life. And so, I want to applaud everyone on how each of you has made this milestone. And I know you will continue to succeed as you move forward. Congratulations, class of 2019. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors.